Hi, it's Rochelle here again, the Green Food Safety Coach, and this is the second in our training series. All right, last week we spoke about why you have to have training. All right, this week I'm going to talk about how it's done. Now, when I'm running training, I practice three principles. But first of all, let's go back a bit. There are two types of training. There is general training, for example, food safety training, uh, general food safety training. Then there is task or specific training. For example, general is what are the potentially hazardous foods? What are the high risk groups? Uh, what are the general temperatures that we need to worry about? These are the general or, 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 or basic food safety training. They are general. Now, specific or task training is where, for example, you're training somebody in how to use a thermometer or how to do a calibration or how to practice first in, first out or any of the various things we need to do when it comes to food safety. So, depending upon which sort of training we're doing as to how we do it. Now, if it's uh, for me, I like to actually do a lot of talking, a lot of storytelling, and I like to write things on the board. Other people like to read. Other people, there are different ways of training, and the trainer has got to find the way that works for them, as well as for the people being trained. So you've got to make sure, and you think about the, the people, some people absorb things better by hearing, some people absorb things better by stories, some people absorb things better by games, which is one of the methods that I use, some people uh, absorb things better by reading. So it depends upon who the person is and the, tra the, the person being trained as well as the trainer as to which method works best. And they need to find the one that has the best way of getting people to understand what's going on. Now, if you're doing specific or task training, that's a little bit different. There are three steps that you need to follow when you're doing specific or task training, and they are this. You, the trainer, does it. You, the trainer, and the person being trained do it. And finally, you, the trainer, watch the person being trained do it. So, you do it, the trainer does it, you do it together, you watch them doing it. And that's the basics of a specific or, start to, or, or specific or task training. That specific or task training needs to be done against a written procedure, against a known procedure. So it's not what's in somebody's head. It's actually what's written down as a procedure the business wants and is required to follow. And by doing that, everybody is going to be getting the same training in a consistent way. If you do it from what's in your head, your opinions will change, your perspectives will change, what happens to you in the morning will affect how you do things during the day, what happens the night before will affect how you do things, uh, what you believe, what you're particularly passionate about is going to change how you do your training. If you do it against a set procedure with step-by-step -step instructions, then there is no way that you're going to be letting your perspective enter into it because you're going to be training somebody against exactly what the rules are, step-by-step-by-step. -by -step -by -step. All right, that's how training is done. The best thing to do is to go out, and get started, and to practice it. And keep on practicing, because the more you do it, the better you get at it. My name's Rochelle. I'm the Green Food Safety Coach. Next week, we're going to talk about records. Till then. So, as I said, I'm Rochelle. I'm the Green Food Safety Coach. If you want more information, or you'd like to ask a question, go here to my Facebook page, the Green Food Safety Coach. Leave a message, leave a question, leave a... a anything, and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. And if you would like a free ebook about many, many, many foodie, foodie facts, food safety, environmental, a whole variety of foodie facts, go here to www.500foodfacts.com. Download it and, uh, and enjoy it and amaze your friends and family. All right, I'm Rochelle. I'm the Green Food Safety Coach. Till next time.